So for um, number 20, we are going to take the sequence right here. Um, a n is equal to 2 plus minus 1 to the power of n over n. And then it's asking us to calculate to four decimal places the first 10 terms of the sequence. So I've gone ahead and I've put it in this table where um, we're just plugging for n is equal to 1. We go 2 plus minus 1 to the power of 1 over 1. For n is equal to 2, we go 2 plus um, minus 1 to the power of 2 over 2 and so on until we get to n is equal to 10, which is 2 plus minus 1 to the power of 10 over 10. Um, and so I've gone ahead and I've put in these, these values here. And then it's asking us to graph this. So um, let's go ahead and make this graph like so. And I'm not going to scale it perfectly. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, um, seven, eight, nine, and lastly, 10. And then over here, we're going to have, um, we're gonna begin at one and then kind of go in increments. So that is going to be uh, 1.5 and then two. Um, actually, maybe I'm gonna do in quarters. So that is one and then 1.25, 1 1.5, um, 1.75, 2, 2.25, 2 2.5, and lastly, we're gonna do, um, yeah, that's the highest value. So let me just put these out here. Okay, and we are ready to graph this. So for n is equal to 1, we have the value of 1. For n is equal to 2, we have the value of 2.5, so that is way up here. For n is equal to 3, we have 1.667, so it's about between these lines, like so. For n is equal to 4, we have 2.25, so we're way up here. Um, for n is equal to 5, we have 1.8, um, and that is very close to here. For n is equal to 6, we have 2.166, so it's going to be a little bit above here. For n is equal to 7, we have 1.85, so a little bit above, like so. For n is equal to 8, we have 2.125, so we're going to go 2 and then increase it a little bit. For n is equal to 9, we have 1.889, so just slightly below 2. And for n is equal to 10, we have 2.10, so just slightly above. Um, and I drew this dot smaller and smaller, but they should all be the same size. Yeah. And we can see here that it appears, um, even though these are oscillating, right, they appear to be getting closer and closer as n gets higher to this line over here. This is the line 2. So it does appear graphically that the limit here is equal to two, right? As we increase, um, they're going from below and then above, from below and above, but they're still getting closer and closer to that line is equal to two. So all we have to do here is we have to prove this limit. Um, so now we're gonna go the limit as n approaches infinity of two plus negative one to the power of infinity over, um, oops, to the power of n over n, okay. And so um, that is going to be equal to two plus minus one to the power of infinity. Well, that's just going to, to alternate between one and negative one and one and negative one, right? So this is just going to be the absolute value of one. Um, this doesn't grow any bigger in module. It just gets, um, it just oscillates between negative and positive one. And then on the bottom, it's gonna go to infinity, right? And so, one or negative one divided by infinity, or the limit as it divides by infinity, well, that's going to be just two plus zero, because that's going to divide by a really big number. Think of, of uh, one divided by a trillion. That's practically zero, right? And so this is the limit of two plus zero, which is equal to two. Um, and so two is our limit, and we have proved it, uh, and we drew this out, and we guessed from the drawing that, that it was two. So we were able to um, confirm it. And so that is it for number 20.